on the atomic life scale, uh, a, a thousand seconds is forever. In the first trapping experiments, we just held on to the atoms for 172 milliseconds. So the big breakthrough now is that we've held on to these antimatter atoms for up to 1,000 seconds. We have enough time to study antimatter in our laboratory here at CERN. The antiprotons from the antiproton decelerator, that's the machine that we need here at CERN, come down this pipe right here. And they come into our apparatus, which is inside this large magnet. This is a very strong magnetic field to help to confine the charged particles that make antihydrogen. We mix the antiprotons with positrons inside this magnet trap and that's where we capture them. So we use the annihilation of the antimatter to see that it was trapped. The next step, and that's what we're reporting now, is to hold on to it. See how long can we keep it around so that we can study it. And by study, we mean interact with lasers or with microwave radiation to see what their structure is inside. How do they behave? Do they behave exactly like hydrogen?